pull. Love that. That's a good feeling when you're about to start a 100 something mile trip. Uh oh, I left the choke on. It's about to cut off. There it went. I knew it. You don't see that very often. There they go. Oh, they're coming closer. Come on, baby. Come to me. Come to me. We're getting in with them if they do. Oh, what's up, everybody? Trent Smith here, and in this adventure, we are starting out in Panama City Beach, Florida, and we are going to be making a 120 or so mile round trip, 50 miles through the Gulf to Destin, Florida, and then back up to ICW. It's going to be a good one, three day trip. But it wouldn't be right if we didn't start this sucker out with a quick trip dip! Woo! Oh yeah, that's my IPB 14 micro skiff. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's a good way to start it off. I gotta be quick because the waves are kind of bringing me in. If I get in there to the breakers, it's game over. Woo! All right, so the plan is to spend tonight here in Panama City Beach. Tomorrow morning, early, we will head out to Destin, make our run, hopefully when the Gulf is the smoothest. And then we will uh, hang out in Destin for the day and we go to a few different cool places. Then we will spend the night there on the boat. We're sleeping on the boat both nights and then when we get back up on the third day, we're going to come back through the Intercoastal Waterway. We'll come back on the other side of the bay, back to the truck. We're really looking forward to this. Right now, though, we're here at Shell Island in Panama City Beach. About to do some snorkeling. About to anchor out probably where I'm going to be for the night. The tide looks really good. Water's nice and clear. I'm going to jump in real quick, see what we can see. Got a pretty cool little cheap sand anchor. Let me show you guys. It's really simple and it works surprisingly well. I've tried it a few times and it hasn't failed me yet. We're gonna put it to the test a little bit today, but all it is, it's a like a nine dollar um, umbrella anchor that's made for the beach. I got this at a little beachy shop, right? You can get them on Amazon. I'll have a link for it below if you want to get one of these, but it works pretty well. You just tie your line to it. Uh, me, I have a little loop here uh, tied to it permanently. Then I just have a carabiner, stainless steel, I can hook to it. I also have another carabiner on the other end of my anchor road, essentially. Just hook to my bow eye. It's ready to roll. Walk out in the water, screw her down. She's ready. Pretty cool. Ta-da, got yourself a shallow water anchor for cheap. So right now I'm walking from the bay side of Shell Island to the Gulf side, head across a bit of sand here, but man, it's beautiful. Let's make some time. We got some folks 
over here fishing, going right at the rocks, right across in the path. Got somebody already out here free diving. And a sea turtle over there? I think so. Cool. Up and over the rocks we go. Without uh, falling down to our doom. Mm. This is going to be awesome. There's not really a great way to get in. So, I'm going to leave my hat, glasses. We're going to just go for it. We're just going to take a quick leap of faith here and put on our fins and goggles in the water. Probably over my head. Oh yeah, how's it done? Like this. Rip him! Yeah. Relaxing for a little while. Very nice, beautiful. A little bit overcast now. Fortunately, there's no rain until like three in the morning, like a 60% chance. So that's okay. But you know, it's only like 2:15. So I want to get back in the water, do a little more snorkeling. I do have a few luxuries. Right here, I've got three chicken drumsticks. I'm gonna let them lay out for a little bit, make them warm up. 
All right, we'll move the boat uh, to a place where there's less people. It's a popular area, so it's hard to get away from everybody. But it started sprinkling on me. That's okay. But I'm about to eat these chicken drumsticks, baby. Soak the buffalo hose sauce. Pretty good dinner. I kind of wish it would just come a good rain and clear everybody out. Well, those are pretty good. I'm going to wash this bag. I'm going to have it as like a little trash bag. I'm going to wait for nightfall before I set up my tarp and all. My poncho on the boat. I'll take a little stroll down the beach. Let's see how far it is to the freshwater shower. Really cold. <laughs> there are some showers right over here. I'm already cold. Could just get the salt off of me, but it's cold now. Right, I'm coming back to the boat, and I'm I'm not liking this little anchorage. It's, just, it's not a good spot. It's too much current. It's not wide enough. And I only came over here because there were too many people over at Shell Island. But I'm pretty sure everyone is gone now, so I'm gonna move back. It's a better spot to anchor there for the night. I'll sleep more comfortably, knowing that the, that the boat's more secure. It's just if it swings any more this direction, it's gonna it and I don't want to go over there in the deeper water and put the anchor in and there's less waves and stuff over there so I'll we'll move All right, got the boat anchored out. Over here we have the sun. It's just gone down a few moments ago. Not sure if y'all have heard the old saying, red sky at night, sailor's delight. Hopefully that is true because we need a good day tomorrow. We need a good, we need a good night and we need a good day. Let's see how it all goes. Man, if you, I just wish it wouldn't rain. But oh well, you gotta be prepared for the rain. So now it's time to go set up our little uh, tent or whatever you want to call it, our shelter on the boat. All right, well first I'll show you how my bed is gonna work. Essentially I'm going to be utilizing my cushion here and I'm gonna have another cushion going over to the front deck. I'm gonna use my cooler to kind of bridge that gap along with my handy PFD that hopefully stays in place right there. Then I'm gonna take the back cushion, the snapper, and she's gonna go right here. This forms some sort of a bed. Let's see how it's going to do. Let's see it clean. It's not that bad. It's not that great, but it's not that bad. Now, originally I had a cot that was really nice that I got from Camp Saver that was supposed to go here, but it was too wide. The legs were too wide for this hatch here, so I had to mix that idea last night and come up with this. And now I have a military style poncho that I'm going to drape across the top, sort of. I think it might be actually kind of decent. So I've got my tiller handle. I have it um, gear tied up. Now I'm using gear ties like everywhere here. I love gear ties and see, I'm glad I brought extra. So I gear tie this up to my platform which elevated this, which gave me a place to put another gear tie. And then I tied a line that went to one corner of my uh, poncho. And I have a small figure nine, just like I do on my tarp, so I can tension that. And then this goes all the way down to the front of the boat, to where I mount my camera. And I have a gear tie that's kind of holding this tight so it doesn't really fall down, hopefully. And I have a bungee that's just kind of uh, keeping tension on the actual poncho. 
and now I just need to figure out a way to kind of kind of bring these over to the side to kind of open it up on the inside and it'll kind of work we're getting there and there's horse flies out here or like big yellow flies or something all right I think I got it pretty much where it's gonna be I'll show it to you in just a second but the no seams have been slaughtering me I mean getting me good this is my Murphy's natural by the way oh it smells so divine I'm just gonna rub it everywhere Oh, I sure hope that works. It generally does. All right, so it's stretched out pretty good. It has a decent amount of room under there, I mean, for what it is. But I figured out how to do this. I took a handy-dandy gear tie, and I went around a water bottle. I just kind of found out, you know, where I wanted the tension to be on the actual uh, tarp. And I just stuck the water bottle cap through there. Then I just put the gear tie around the cap, so it's essentially, you know, it's like tying a knot right where the cap is. Wow, look at this sunset. Look how red it is. It's awesome. That's kind of holding tension on it, and it's also you know, holding it kind of tight so there's no like pooling that I was kind of having an issue with earlier. And the front's holding up pretty well right here, kind of, sort of. Uh, I don't think it'll come off of there. And the other side's doing the same thing with another water bottle. So I think we're good to go. The only thing I'm kind of worried about is I don't have a lot of coverage up at my head, but you know, if it does start to rain, you know, typically the wind's going to be blowing and the boat is going to be pointing into the wind generally. And so, you know, hopefully I won't get too wet right here where my head is. Oh, the Murphy's helped, by the way. Thank you, Murphy. So, so good. I mean, just like so. Uh. <laughs> that is going to, that is going to work. That's gonna work pretty doggone well, actually. So I could even, I could stand to slide down if I needed to. Yeah. Well, right there. And I still have a lot of coverage up here. Cool. This is awesome. <laughs> I wasn't sure how good it was gonna work, but that's that's not too bad. Well, the bugs are a little rough. I'll admit. Put my pants on. There's like some like beetles something flying around and they'll be coming at you it sounds like a freaking chinook flying in your ear i mean it's the darndest thing the darndest thing it's 8 30 i just took some melatonin six milligrams helped me get a good night's sleep because i knew i probably wouldn't be very comfortable <laughs> not gonna be long before i turn in one thing you've got to get used to is just being in the salt environment and down at the beach everything's you know this feels wet high humidity I mean things just get wet and they kind of stay wet so you kind of you feel wet the whole time even though you might be semi dry but you just have to embrace it it's part of the experience as my wife would say no it's part of the experience oh we got to do this it's part of the experience yeah yeah oh I dearly hope it doesn't rain much tonight all right let's see how this is gonna work I actually have a kind of nice setup, believe it or not. An Outdoor Vitals ultralight pillow. I have my Outdoor Vitals sleeping bag liner. What's going to make this actually comfortable? Because the bugs are so ferocious. Camp Saver sent me this bug net deal. And I've got it attached right up the top of my poncho. It's just going to go over my head and protect me from the bugs. How fantastic. And... It's no CMS. It's a Thermarest uh, bug net deal. Uh-oh. i to take this off so the uh, Velcro doesn't mess it up. Perfect. Right here. I'm going to get in this, blow this up, and get rid of this, and I'm out. All right, folks. We'll see you all in the morning unless just oh, it, it gets bad, but I hope it doesn't. I hope to see you all in the morning. Good night. What's up? It's 5 a.m. Uh, I'd be lying if I told y'all I slept good. I'd be lying. I don't like to lie to you folks. I did sleep from like 1 to 5 though. <laughs> Maybe like a half hour before that. Like, I don't know, 11.30 to 12. It was really hot to begin with. 
the bugs were pretty rough. Well, I was comfortable enough to survive and to sleep. But it was just it was hot and buggy. It never rained. Let me get up, pack up, check the weather, and we're about to hit this junk. We're about to hit this junk. Of course, we don't have much to pack up because well, it's all here on the boat. Spots will work pretty well. My bug protection just did not. Let's wrap it up and roll. Jeez, I wish I would have got more sleep last night. I really do. There you go. There's the current sun situation. It's actually a lot less than that. The camera just kind of amplifies it. Top off the fuel before we strike out. I've got a six gallon tank and I'm guessing, I haven't calculated the fuel mileage technically on this, so I'm gonna get about eight to nine miles to the gallon. So 50 miles, that's about, let's say six gallons. <laughs> we might get stretched, I may have to fuel up on the way. Hope it's not too rough out there. We didn't use much fuel yesterday, but we did use a little, so I'm gonna top off. Hopefully without making much of a mess. Put this back and we're fueled. All right, just for fun, we're gonna check with the weather and the wave situation. Look what we got. Getting a thousand notifications. Fantastic. All right, Panama City Beach. Yeah, I know my Wi-Fi is not working. All right, 5 a.m. Winds from the south at six knots, decreasing to four knots. This is from five to nine, and the waves are at two feet at four seconds apart. So I think that's going to be good enough for us to rock and roll. I think we're about ready. Oh, gosh. I wish I would have slept better. <laughs> well, the anchor held really well last night, I guess. Uh, I do need some sort of shock line on it, like a snubber on it or something. I have this that I tried to uh, rig up in the middle of the night. This is a paddle leash from a kayaking and camping or campingandkayaking.com. You get them off Amazon, they're really nice. I'm about to use it as a leash for my kill switch, but I tried to rig it up last night, but it was dark, I was tired, it didn't work very well. I didn't do it right. But this anchor, it works. And just to uh, stow my line, I just wrap it around it. Nothing to it. But I do like having these carabiners on here, it makes it easy to clip to the boat. And I can lengthen it or shorten it actually pretty easily just by, you know, if I want to just use half of it and bring both carabiners back to the boat or whatnot, it works pretty well. Now, I don't know if you folks remember or not, but when I had the Ginu, found something, kind of a little good luck charm, and I figured uh, today was a day to use it. Right, we're about to do this you know, 50 mile <laughs> stretch out in the Gulf on the Flippity boat. So I'm bringing out what's left of the old electric shave. You guys remember this from the Ginu trip? Yes, sir. This is that special stuff. And when you put it on your boat, it makes it. I don't know how it went. Like that. Just get me out of here. This makes this bad boy, it'll be skint back. Watch this, here we go. Here we go, just, you just squirt her on there a little bit, like that. Mmm, right there. she be slicing through the waves. Oh yeah, we will save a little bit. We'll save a little bit. But now it just makes that bow entry through those waves, just however you want to say it. Depending on how fast you're going to what it sounds like. We ready now. I hope we are. <laughs> now, I do have some safety equipment that I will be utilizing for this stretch this morning. First thing is a PFD. So a lot of people uh, chat about it a lot, I guess you could say, on my channels in the comments, which is fine with me. And I also have a HF radio that is going to be in my pocket for the PFD, I guess. Got a few zip ties in here too. Okay, that's ready. Then I probably will go ahead and put my cell phone. In my other pocket is is waterproof, but I guess I'll put it in there. Just in case, you never know. Alright, 
other than that, I got a GPS that I kind of just use kind of to track my speed at first so I can just estimate how long the uh, stretch is going to take me. Then I have this paddle leash that will go around my ankle and then attach my kill switch to kind of give me a little more uh, freedom, a little room to move in case I need to move around the boat while we're underway. Alright, I think we're ready. See here, I'm just going to make a little loop around the ankle. I've got a kill switch. 605. How's the look out there? The pass is usually the worst. Wish me luck, y'all. The scent of electric shave is in the air. Must be a good omen. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, it's nasty as crap out here. Negative. Holy crap. The big negative goes, Ryder. All right, I've got to really concentrate to get back in without swamping the friggin' boat. Nervous right now. See ya. That's not the call I wanted to make this morning. Yeah, that's not how I planned this morning to go. You know, a couple days ago, you know, I've been checking the forecast. It said very calm seas. You know, it's like one foot seas with they were like four seconds apart, which means you know they're essentially two foot tall and four seconds apart, which means it's not too bad, but it also wasn't calling for all the wind and stuff that we got last night, which got pretty nasty. But fortunately for us, we can still take the bays and the intercoastal all the way to Destin, so I guess that's what we're going to do. We're still getting a good early start at least. probably notice that the boat corpusing a little bit because when I'm driving or when I'm moving it's kind of doing this number here so I'm moving a little bit of weight forward to see if it helps I'll move my cooler you know just a little bit see if it makes a difference
we made it to the ICW. <clears throat> now we are in the bay. This is a desk, I think this is actually the Takahashi Bay. Go check our fuel, see how we've done. 32.7 miles on the GPS. Did start it a little late. Could be maybe closer to 40, realistically. Max speed though was 31.8. I don't think we actually got that, but we might have gotten 31, which I originally had only been like 29.2 on this, so. And I've got a lot of weight on here. Interesting. But uh, let's check our fuel, see how we're doing. We have a decent amount left, actually. And half a tank? Did I calculate that right, or is our fuel mileage just that good? Whatever. We don't have to fill up yet. Woo! It just sucks we couldn't go in the Gulf this morning. That would have been so nice. But whatever. It doesn't always work out. But I have seen days when the Gulf is almost like this. That would have been so cool to have done. But whatever. We're still making it happen. That's what matters, right? All right. Let's roll. Woo! I wish I would have slept better last night. Next time, I'm bringing my hammock as a backup. Like, when I was packing, like, I had my hammock and I was like, eh. I don't need this. I'm sleeping on the boat. Put it back. It's so small and compact, it would have been so easy to bring. But also, next time, I'll certainly have a better sleeping setup instead of it just last minute jerry rigging like I did. We're still here, though. Always an adventure, baby. Woo! Even if the adventure sucks sometimes. <laughs> you still gotta smile. You still gotta laugh. You still gotta go for it. Because you don't have many opportunities to do stuff like this, you know? Here we are making it happen captain let's go destin here we come we're like 28 27 miles away Woo! oh yeah i gotta take a leak too if someone asked on a reply line my live show i've been doing here lately that i'm really enjoying said how do you go to the bathroom i said well it all depends on the situation this kind of situation i don't really see anybody around so i just kind of do like this got me a grab bar here and i lean forward baby and let her rip you know just like that. Simple as that. Nothing to it but to do it. Okay, Triple, that's all fine and dandy, but what do you do if there's more people around? Well, you gotta be a little more incognito about it. And I have, uh, you know, pretended I was doing something. You know, working on something or another. You know, checking on something while the boat's going. And, you know, let her flow, right? Or I've even gotten back on the back of the boat. I pretended I was working on something on the back of the boat and just, you know, make it happen. This is kind of what I do. You know what I do, it's kind of a little bit of excitement for me. You know, it's a thrill, right? I should have got poor sleep last night. Is this silliness because of the lack of sleep? I don't think so. I think I'm, I'm just an idiot. All right, let's go test. Seven point five miles, moving average twenty three mile an hour, max speed thirty one point eight, moving time two and a half hours. Right now it's nine o'clock, two minutes till nine. But we leave. Wait, we left at six, so there's like thirty minutes that's not on here, right? When it a little after six when we left. Interesting. I didn't figure we'd make it this far without running out of fuel. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, we are very low. Which is about, you know, what we wanted. I figured we might get 10 miles per gallon. And we were going through some rougher stuff. We would probably get more than 10 miles per gallon, actually. Because we got about 60 out of this tank according to the GPS. But I actually started the GPS late. And I'll probably like 6 miles late. So cool. We get pretty good fuel miles on this bad boy. Plan for today. We're going to visit the boat store, B-O-T-E. We're going to fuel up 
having lunch at a place called Beauchamp. We're gonna go hang at the Crab Island today. So, I just wish I would've got a little more sleep last night. But, I can make it work. All right, let's go. I'm excited. I just wish I would've got a little more sleep last night. Okay, right, one thing I've gotta do, I need to change my clothes and all. Spruce up a little bit. Gotta look fresh. In case you're wondering how I'm gonna change clothes, I'm basically going to uh, kind of lay down in the boat there. You know, kind of incognito, like when you go to the bathroom, right? Hopefully no one's up there. Oops. About to down some muscle milk first. Muscle milk contains no milk. But it's delicious. And feeds the muscle. All right, right now we're just cruising into the harbor, which is where I'm going to dock and get fuel. I'm either going to walk up to a gas station uh, if they have non-ethanol, or I will buy it at the boat dock. Pretty little dolphin right Oh, man. Hey, buddy. How are you doing today? I wouldn't have my breakfast, and if I had somebody else to steer, I'd have been in the water with the quickness. But... We gotta find some non-ethanol gas somehow. Fortunately, there's a gas station and boat champs and the boat store is all kind of close together, so I can kind of dock in one spot, kind of do all that, be done, and then come out to Crab Island. But you just gotta get your nourishment first. I got two of these, and I've got a yummy egg salad in a bag. Yes, this is an egg salad. <laughs> Made it a couple days ago. I'm <laughs> keeping it cold. Eight eggs. Never had it out of the bag, but whatever. Good. All right, so we've got the boat parked here at Boat Champs. We're gonna have lunch at the boat store, B-O-T-E store right down there. See gas stations this way. All right, so the gas stations are too far. Probably don't have non-ethanol anyway. So it didn't bother. I only need like six gallons, so it can't be that expensive to get it from the boat stop gasoline. So I just stopped by Taco Bell, rinse my glasses in some fresh water, rinse my face, uh, lose some weight so I didn't have to dig a hole somewhere. But boat's just right up here. I'm just gonna check them out. See the most beautiful paddle boards that they make. Really and truly. Well, what we have is a lot of inflatable. Yeah. Now, folks, walking into this boat store was quite the treat. I mean, it's just, it's totally beautiful. And they have a lot of unique stuff in here. But what just really took me back were all the colors, all the different boards, all the different options, lots of little gear pieces. But guys, these these boards are just so beautiful. They're so perfect, so pristine. I mean, it's it's crazy just to see. And here they have their cool boat docks with these sweet inflatable chairs. Yeah, I sat in one. Yeah, it was pretty awesome. <laughs> but here's one of their rovers. I mean, this thing, it looks sweet. It looks so awesome. I mean, if you're paddling one of these you know that you're paddling something that is totally gorgeous. You know, you're not gonna find a prettier board than these. And look, these are inflatables. Yeah, an inflatable Rackham. This is new. Here's an inflatable Rover. Basically an inflatable micro skiff. Pretty crazy, right? Yeah, it is pretty crazy. Now these little chairs, they pack up pretty small. This is the larger of the two chairs. I mean, check that out. Don't tell me inflatables are not the future. I mean, but these big Rackhams, this is the Bug Slinger. Sweet, sweet, sweet. And now they have their new inflatable kayaks. Now, this is the first time I've ever seen these in person, and I will say I am very impressed. They look like they would paddle pretty easily. Uh, they're fairly lightweight. And I'm sure they're super durable, just like all their inflatables. Hope I get the chance to paddle one one day. 
I mean, they'll definitely turn some heads. <laughs> There's no doubt about that. And then they had a lot of inflatable paddle boards as well. They were actually selling a couple of them while I was in there. That was pretty cool to see, and I kind of got to chat with the salesman and the, uh, and the customers too, and kind of let her know that you were making a good decision with two inflatables. <laughs> Hope they didn't mind too much. But it was a treat to get to visit for sure. All right, 11.15, time to grub out at Beauchamp's. Need something light and a bushwhacker. That's what I need. All right, all these boats done. Come up in here. Locking me in. I mean, this guy pulls up in here in his junker just because he's got four, two 425s on it. Thinks he owns the place. He don't know nothing about this, baby. <laughs> it's a nice boat. <laughs> Most all other boats here are nicer than mine. But I'm happy. I'm here. All right, let's go down the ways and see if we can get us some boat dock gasoline. They're probably going to laugh at me for coming up there. To, Man, I need about five and a half gallons. <laughs> They're going to laugh at me. <laughs> Whatever. I'm going to pour my oil into my gas can to mix it. You know, it's a two-stroke that makes oil with the gas. And I had measured it and I spilled the oil all over the gas can and down in the boat. Unfortunately, I had to use my rock -a dock shirt to clean the oil up. I don't know if it'll come out or not. That sure killed my chickens when I had to use the rock -a dock shirt. I, just, I don't have ever towels on here. Yeah, kind of hot. Needed to cool off before I put on sunblock. All right, now we're cruising back out to Crab Island. Just a big old sandbar out here. Folks like to hang out. So the plan for the rest of the day is just to chill out in the water, maybe meet some random folks, have a good time. Nothing really special. Next to adventuring, that's one thing I really enjoy. What time is it? <laughs> is that what it is? Alright, you get one. Trip dip! <laughs> what better way to do it? Yeah. What's up, man? Good. How are you doing? <laughs> nice. nice to meet you, Zach. Alright, so I've got a little tip for you folks. If you guys come up to a place and you don't know anyone, a good way to meet people is to cruise around so you find music that you like. Now me, I like good old time country music, southern rock music. So I cruised around here, so I found someone playing the music, and I pull up beside them, and they're like, woo, what's up? And I'm like, hey, finally some music I like. And they're like, woo, come over here and hang out with us. So that's what I did. Got folks right here playing David Allen Coe. Folks right here playing Alabama. I'm in a good spot, right? It's a good way to meet folks, right? So I met some folks from uh, Alabama and from Mississippi. Pretty cool. All right, well, Crab Island has petered out. Now we're gonna head in to the harbor. We're gonna park and have a little dinner. Just kind of chill for a little bit. Get dry, get warm. It was a lot of fun meeting some good folks at Crab Island today. Probably the, I had a lot of fun last time I was here, but I probably, I met some really cool folks from Mississippi and hang out on their boat and stuff. It was a lot of fun. But uh, now we're just gonna come and chill. Let the night come on. Mosquito bites, I swear. That's a true story, everybody. Got a mouse sitting right there in that old blue chair. Y'all, look at this sunset. Holy smoly. All right, I gotta get a picture of the boat. This might be the thumbnail right here. Let's clean up the boat a little bit. We'll get a thumbnail shot.
Good morning, everybody. Well, this is how I slept on the boat last night. Basically the same way I slept last night, uh, except there weren't any bugs and it wasn't a chance of rain, so I actually slept pretty well. So I'm pretty happy to wake up this morning. Right now it's 6.16, so the bay should be pretty smooth, so we can be skip back out across there. Just me and a sleeping bag liner. And my pillow. Now, Destin Harbor is a very nice and fancy place, so I'm sure I looked pretty uh, out of the ordinary when all these fancy fishing boats were coming out this morning and saw what looked like this homeless guy sleeping on his boat <laughs> under a little sheet. Whatever, I didn't care. I was there and I was making it happen. That's what it's all about, right? <laughs> hey, you gotta do with whatever you've got. Water's looking good. Weather's great. I think we need one last trip dip before this all ends. One last trip dip. Oh, good morning. Ten after seven. Nothing better than a good old trip dip. <laughs> Well, it's pretty good. There's a few things that are better, but Cryptid's pretty good. <laughs> you guys, this is nice. This is so nice. Good shallow flats out here, nice and sandy. Watching the sun come up. We've got a good uh, 70 miles or maybe a little less than that today. Back to the truck. Just a nice leisure cruise. Bay's pretty flat this morning, which is fantastic. I almost went out on the Gulf, but I chose not to. Why? I don't know. I just, I don't know. I guess this is just easier, and I guess the thrill and the uh, you know the drive for the excitement of the Gulf is kind of gone. Here we are in the bay, and man, this is nice. You know, I couldn't have stopped and done this in the Gulf. You know, but here I am. <laughs> and it's a beautiful morning. <laughs> All right, let's get a roll on. Everybody, everybody, get your roll on.
how we made it. What a trip. Thank y'all for tagging along. Hope y'all enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to subscribe to the channel. And I hope to see y'all around in some of the next adventures. Because I have some pretty good ones planned. Finally, uh, things are getting back to normal here in the world of uh, COVID-19. But here we are. Thank y'all for being here. Take care of yourselves. God bless. Get out there, all right? See ya. Thank you for tagging along. Well, of course, as my luck would have it lately, it's been, it's been pretty rough. Um, got in the water with my key falling accident, and it rusted up, and it doesn't work. So I had to break in my truck. But I got it. Sheesh. Golly, man. All the luck.